When it comes to signal processing, we all know about equalizers, compression, and other typical signal processors. Today I'd like to touch on a few other specialty signal processors that you may not have heard about. The radial engineering phaser. This unit is great for adjusting the phase relationship between two signals such as two microphones on a guitar or a bass being mic'd while running a DI. The SPL Charisma. The Charisma allows you to control tube saturation and limiting for more punch and loudness. You can even add heavy harmonic distortions which emulate tape saturation along with a defined presence in the top end. The SPL Vitalizer. SPL has multiple units in the Vitalizer range. Think of the Vitalizer like a Charisma that is frequency dependent, so you could EQ but also create saturation and distortion in certain areas of the frequency spectrum. The Vitalizers are usually used in mastering. The SPL Deesser. A deesser eliminates prominent S's and T's in your vocals, like tss 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 tss. Most deessers are frequency controlled compressors. SPL, however, decided to tackle this from a different angle by adding a phase cancellation method, which sounds more natural than other deessers. The SPL Transient Designer. The transient designer is probably what SPL is known for most in the recording field. It is an envelope filter that is not threshold dependent. This means no matter what the input volume is, the transient designer will change the envelope, unlike a compressor that waits until the threshold has been met. You are able to have more or less attack and more or less sustain with just a twist of a knob. The SPL MS Master. Mid-side processing allows you to have full independent control of your center and side signals of a stereo file by separating your center channel information from the side channel information. In other words, everything on the left and right side of the mix is encoded into one signal and everything in the center is encoded to another signal. This allows you to process the two encoded signals independently while maintaining the left and right imaging of the original signal. For instance, let's say I had a mix with vocals that had a lot of sibilance in the center of the mix and I also had dull acoustic guitars that were panned pretty hard right and left. Normally, if I tried to EQ the guitars a little bit brighter, it would make the vocals even more sibilant. And if I tried to tone down the sibilance, it would make the guitars even duller. With MS processing, you would first encode, then send just the center channel to a deesser, and send the side channels to an EQ to brighten the guitars. Once you decode the signal, the original stereo spectrum would be intact with the vocal treated differently than the sides, creating a better balanced mix.